So this video was uploading all night and it's still only on 28%. If this doesn't go up at five, this will be the first day that I've failed at Vlogmas. The internet speed's not very good here. I just hope it goes up on time. It's Christmas Eve! Mum's just made lunch. Avocado and beetroot sandwiches with cranberry bread. That looks well good. <laughs> Andy's assured me that this is warm, but is it hot or warm? Like in between hot, in between warm and hot. It's not boiling, but it's, it's hot. Is it as hot as the one at the treehouse? Probably, probably. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna have a little hot bath now to warm myself up. And really bad news, all my nails come off. Well, one of them come off, one of them broke, and then I didn't have any glue or anything, so I just decided to take all the others off because I can't live with like one nail not on. But I'm really disappointed now, but I have got some red glittery nail polish with me, so I think I'm gonna try and do something with them later on this evening. My bath time treat is going to be this little one and I can't remember what it was called. Let me open it up. So I got this when we went to Lush on Oxford Street um, the other day and I can't remember what it's called. It's a bath melt and it's like, I'm sure it's called snow something. Um, but it looks super nice and festive. Nut roast extraordinaire. Just knocked up a little nut roast. See what happens. <laughs> this is a deliciously Ella. What's it called? Deliciously Ella nut roast. Apricot and nut. What nuts are in it? Cashews and almonds. Mm. 
You go. Put your knee pajamas on as well. It's sophisticated. Very nice. Evening everyone, happy Christmas Eve. It will be Christmas day by the time that you're watching this. I hope you're all having an amazing Christmas and enjoying your days. I was just sat on the sofa watching a Christmassy film and winding down for the evening and it just, I think I saw someone else tweet saying that it was the last time they were editing tonight and the final vlogmas tomorrow and I don't know why but I think in my head I thought I was still filming tomorrow and then I sat there and was just kind of like oh no this is it like tonight this is it and it just feels really weird because <laughs> it only feels like yesterday that I was starting it really so it feels really crazy it just feels like it's come and gone and now it's over too soon um it's been really fun I've really enjoyed vlogging every day it's definitely been stressful and tiring but it's also re been really fun and I've really loved letting my regular followers and readers and viewers into my life a little bit and just sharing what we've been up to and stuff it's been really fun and hearing all your comments and support has been great as well I'm really glad that I took part and I think I would definitely do it again so if I'm still doing YouTube this time next year, I will definitely do Vlogmas again because it's just such a great time of year and I like sharing the memories that we're making together. I'm not sure if I shared with you guys earlier on camera, but I definitely shared on uh, Twitter that we went into the little shop here earlier to get um, a couple of bits. And this random guy just come up to me and was like, oh, what is that? To Zen. And I was like, oh, it's a chihuahua. And he was just like, oh, are you planning to eat it for your dinner? And I think I just laughed and just like walked away. But then it was only afterwards I realised what he said and that he was actually being rude and a bit of a twat. And um, I told Andy and Andy said that the same guy had made a comment to him about Suki when he walked in the shop and said, I don't I can't remember what it was now, but something about having her for dinner. I just think, what is wrong with people? Like, even if you think that or you have something specifically against small dogs or chihuahuas, as if you go up to someone that you, you've never met before and say that. I found it really insulting and it really annoyed me. And the more I sort of thought about it all evening, I think the more I tweeted about it and ranted about it because look at him. I just don't understand how like anyone could have anything against him. It's just so horrible. People can be so horrible. I would I would never dream of going up to a complete stranger and insulting them in any way, regardless of what I thought of them or... I can't believe the front of some people. It really got under my skin. Really, really annoyed me. I think Andy wanted to go back over and say something to him, but I was like, no, just forget about it. It's not worth it. It's been said now, let's just move on and not let it ruin our day kind of thing. But it never ceases to amaze me, like, how... And it always seems to be men, like, who have an issue with small dogs. And they have to make really insulting comments and try and put you down in some way and try and belittle you. It's just... I just honestly don't know what's wrong with people. I would never dream of doing that. And to be so insulting about something so cute. In my opinion, I think it's just men that are just really insecure about their masculinity. Who would feel the need to comment about having a small dog. Because they're just the sort of men that I think think dogs are like some kind of status symbol for masculinity. And they're the sort of men that probably wouldn't even treat their dogs like a member of the family. Like we do. 
they would probably just treat their dogs like, I don't know, some sort of accessory for home security or something to make them look bigger and stronger than they actually are. But I just think, how how much of a weak individual do you have to be to come up to a female with a cute dog and insult them? It just baffles me. Like, I didn't let it ruin my day or anything, but even now, tonight, I'm just thinking... How rude. An absolute asshole. And I kept looking at Zen all night and just thinking, he's such a sweetheart. He's my baby. How could anyone say anything horrible about my baby? We get it a lot though. Andy's had it quite a few times. He'll be walking down the road with the dogs and people, he's had blokes say like, oh, I bet you love walking them and my dog could eat your dog for dinner. And I just think... A dog's a dog at the end of the day, it's an animal, it's like a pet, it's something that you love, it's not an accessory, it's not something to make you feel better about your masculinity or how strong you are or, I don't know, these people are ridiculous. And the other thing that really annoys me, and this is both male and female, but you'll get people just come up to you and be like, not even say anything about the dog or like not even be like oh can I stroke your dog or ask you any questions they'll just come up to you and be like oh how much did you pay for them and you'll just kind of be like it's actually none of your business and it just amazes me that people think that just because it's like a chihuahua or a small dog that you would have paid thousands of pounds for them I mean Bappy for example we didn't pay anything for we adopted him we you know he's like a rescue dog so i don't know what is wrong with people i just can't abide rudeness but anyway i don't want to end vlogmas on a on a sour note it has been a really nice christmas eve i'm really just happy to be feeling chilled out in my christmas pajamas we opened these tonight these were like we done like christmas eve stockings you would have seen in some of the video because we all got like pajamas and i thought that would be really nice for us to chill out in and it's just been like a really nice christmas eve really chilled exactly what i wanted we went for a really nice walk earlier with the dogs and just explored some of the local area and the surroundings which was really beautiful we then come back and had a really chilled lunch and just had like Christmas TV on in the background and I finally got my video uploaded which took ages and I ended up having to do it on 3G. I had to put my phone outside up high because I don't even get 3G in here and it just took forever. <laughs> But I'm glad it went up on time because I thought, oh, this is going to be the first day that my video doesn't actually go up. Someone's really tired. And then after we had lunch and chilled out for a bit, we got into the hot tub, which had to be done. But I have to say it wasn't as hot as I would have liked it to have been. The hot tub that we had at the tree house was much hotter and I think much more kind of relaxing. This one, it felt kind of warm, really warm when I first got in it. But then after you sit in it for like two minutes, it just felt like lukewarm. But it was good fun. We all had a go in it and we had a glass of Buck's Fizz and it was just really nice. And this evening has just been super chilled. We've just been eating snacks really, bits and pieces and watching TV. We played dominoes this evening. We really wanted to play Articulate as well but we didn't realise that you needed four people. So we're going to save that one for tomorrow when Andy's mum and dad come up. I think I've definitely got I don't know if it's a cold or just a sore throat or I don't know what, but I feel I feel pretty run down. Um, it definitely feels worse in the morning. I wake up and feel horrendous. So I think once we get home after this break, I might really crash and burn. But hopefully it won't develop into anything too horrendous. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I think it'll be really nice. Mm -hmm. It just feels so Christmassy here. It feels so festive. And when I woke up this morning and got up really early this morning, which is really unlike me, but I just felt so ill. I just woke up and I knew I wasn't going to go back to sleep. So I thought, 
I'd rather just get up and just go and lay on the sofa under some blankets and put the fire on and just like sit in front of the Christmas tree and I'm so glad I'd done that. It was really nice. It just felt so festive. And as soon as I opened my bedroom door, a massive waft of like just the smell of Christmas come in and it was just so nice. I don't think Andy's mum and dad are coming over till like three or four o'clock. Um, so we're going to prep everything up and then we're, we're going to try and take the dogs for a really nice long walk again because otherwise they're just going to be really hyper. I was thinking today I would be so happy to do this again next year. I think I, if you've never stayed at a Forest Holidays log cabin before, I would definitely recommend checking them out. I'm not sure what the other forests are like, but this one in Norfolk, this is called Thorpe Forest. It's part of Thetford Forest. This one's super nice and I'm just so pleased that we've done this and that it worked out as good as I'd hoped for and I think I'd be really happy to do it again next year and I think it would be even more fun to have like more people stay here as well like maybe not all in the same cabin because it could get a bit much but try and get other family and friends to book other cabins as well so like you're all in the same vicinity so yeah I think I would definitely come back next year it just depends what we end up doing and I quite like going away at Christmas I like being at home but I also quite like going away at Christmas and one of the best things we done was we went to New York for Christmas just the year before we got married and that was such an amazing experience to be in New York for Christmas week it was so cool it feels kind of weird that I won't be sharing Christmas day with you all Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. I feel just a bit like, oh, this is the end now. It's like when you get to the end of the phone call and you're like, no, you hang up. And I know when I turn off this camera, that's going to be it. Vlogmas is officially over. I feel quite emotional about it. But anyway, I have some blog posts going live next week. So be sure to check those out. And there'll still be some videos over here on my YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much to everyone that's tuned in every day and commented and liked my videos and shown support and encouraged me to do more stuff like this. I'm still definitely planning on doing um, like a mental health series in January. So that's on the agenda. But things will just be kind of like a much more slower pace, which will be really nice. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off now. I need to get edited in this video so that I can wake up at a reasonable time tomorrow. But thanks so much for tuning in and I really wish you all an amazing Christmas and have a super nice time with your friends and family. Whatever you're up to, I hope it's a nice day for you and I hope you all have a really great start to 2017 and that next year is a positive year for everyone. Bye bye vlogmas. Bye everyone. See you soon.